One of the, the, the key things that we're trying to do is we're creating these systems to be modular in design. So uh, allowing these micro cleaning facilities, which we call clean cells, to be plugged into a variety of spaces such as recycling facilities, retailer distribution centers. So Brian, thank you for being here today. Can you tell me a little bit about your circular economy journey? You worked for another company before this one. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so before joining again, uh, I was involved in helping create Loop, a uh, company by TerraCycle, reusable packaging platform in the FMCG world. Right, and what is Again? Again is basically a company that is trying to crack the code on allowing reusable packaging to scale uh, in the billions of units. We're creating a decentralized network of highly automated micro cleaning facilities specifically designed to process and clean all of this emerging reusable packaging that we're seeing enter the market. So how do you see that fitting in within the circular economy as a bigger system? Yeah, absolutely. So I think uh, one of the, the, the key things that we're trying to do is we're creating these systems to be modular in design. So uh, allowing these micro cleaning facilities, which we call clean cells, to be plugged into a variety of spaces such as recycling facilities, retailer distribution centers, uh, right before the filling line at FMCG companies so they can seamlessly integrate in existing logistics supply chains that will really allow us to uh, reduce the cost of these reusable packaging systems and allow us to properly compete with single-use packaging supply chains by being able to offer these cleaning services at a rate that is very comparable to the price that brands pay for single-use packaging today. So you see yourself as a sort of packaging company rather than like a recycling one or one that's just like sustainable, right? Exactly, exactly. We're really trying to position ourselves as packaging suppliers. Uh, the key difference is we happen to be supplying packaging that is not virgin, but that has had a life before. So that's uh, exactly what we're doing. We're supplying that packaging for the same price as single use and trying to deliver it back to the brands in the same format as they're used to receiving their packaging today. And how's the journey been so far? Have there been any big obstacles? Like what is, what would it take for it to go huge? Yeah, I mean, lots of obstacles as, as we heard today. Uh, a lot of what needs to happen is collaboration across the entire value chain, working with everyone from the producers to uh, uh, the retailers to government in helping institute legislation that can help uh, level the playing field with single-use packaging. Uh, there's a lot of barriers that uh, we're, we're working through and, and we're talking to all parties to basically uh, line up that supply chain in, in a way that allows us to crack the code. Amazing, and is there a, a next big step for you? Yeah, uh, we, we just closed 2.5 million in investment. Uh, we're very thrilled to have this investment come from Ica and Maersk, uh, one of the world's biggest shipping and logistics companies. We're really excited to basically uh, work with those parties to allow us to uh, scale this effort. And uh, we're very happy to announce by the end of this year, we'll have three to five of our clean cells up and running in the UK. So we're very excited to, to bring that to the market. How many markets are you in at the moment? Currently focused in the UK, uh, but very closely looking at France and the US as our next markets to come. Amazing. Thank you for sharing your journey with us, Brian. My pleasure. Anytime. Thank you for having me.